I'm Matthew Mossbrugger. I direct and curate the Morrison Natural History Museum. The Morrison Museum is a small, hands-on, engaging museum where we take local paleontology and introduce it to anyone who's curious. We are a small town museum supported by the town of Morrison, but we're a grassroots effort led mostly by volunteers, people that are passionate about paleontology. It's an extraordinary experience that I invite you to come and see for yourself. Favorite part of working at the Morrison Museum is the visitors. They get so active and engaged when we allow them to touch the fossils or sneak them into the paleo lab to clean the bones. It makes my day every time. The Morrison Museum is engaged in active research where we go out and dig local fossils, bring them to the museum, and explain their relevance to you, the museum visitor. Very few places work in the way that we do a direct connection between the lab and the classroom. Your interests lead the tour. If you want to learn more about T-Rex, we talk about T-Rex. If you want to learn more about Ice Age reptiles, we'll talk about Ice Age reptiles. The tour is up to you. You just have to show up. The Morrison Museum has a stellar volunteer program. I can say that because I manage it. But in all seriousness, the Morrison Museum's volunteer program allows for a deeper level of engagement with museum visitors. If you're really interested and you love the tour and you love the dinosaurs, you love the fossils, but you want to dig deeper, the Morrison Museum is the place to dig deeper. We will train you how to clean fossils, how to give tours, take you out on digs. If you want to learn more about paleontology, all you've got to do is show up. This year we're rolling out brand new dinosaur expeditions where we're going to take members of the public and our volunteers out and we're going to collect fossils for our museum and for the Glenrock Paleon Museum in Glenrock, Wyoming. If you've supported the Morrison Museum in the past, thank you because this program is because of your support. Here we are at the nose end of Tyrannosaurus Rex and kids come in sometimes, little kids, and they're they're a little put off, a little afraid, and I say, no, come on up here. You can touch our fossils, at least with two fingers. Please stick your fingers right in the nostril of T-Rex. Feel around for boogers. This puts the child at ease. Because nothing is better than a touchable T-Rex, and Jurassic fossils too, to get kids' minds thinking about science, and math, and engineering, and even calculus. Because this is irresistible. You want to touch it. You want to feel around it. You want to understand why it has great big thick teeth, whereas Velociraptor has little sharp teeth. That's why museums like the Morrison are so wonderful and deserving of your support. Good morning, I'm Doug Hartshorn. I'm the museum coordinator here in Morrison, Colorado. The Morrison Museum is unique for several reasons. Primarily, the guided tour. This museum is set up to be led by a docent. It's not a museum where you come in and you read a little label here and learn what year something lived and that's it. You move to the next label. This is interactive and we get to relay all the things that we're interested in. The docents don't have a script. They get to talk about whatever they like as they go through the museum. In most museums, you don't really get the opportunity to touch the specimens and this museum is set up so that a lot of the specimens are touchable. You can touch baby dinosaur tracks that are delightful to see and to touch. So touch is a big part of what we do at the museum. The visitor experience here when they come here is delightful. It keeps most of us going here because the response to what they learn and see here is just fantastic. We have people that have been to museums all over the world and they will comment that this is one of the best experiences that they've ever had when they come to this museum. It's unlike any other place that you will go to. You should know that all the proceeds from the gift shop go directly to operations for the museum and that your money that's spent in here will go a long way in keeping this museum open and entertaining all the guests that come through, which are numbering in the tens of thousands now. Thank you everyone for your support of our museum. This museum is laser focused on dinosaurs, on prehistory, uh, and they do it in a way where there aren't railings, there isn't glass. We want you to learn. We understand that learning is not just looking, learning is not just through the eyes. Learning is through actually touching the fossils and the casts. It makes it real, it makes it intimate and alive. Without the people who are here, this is just a building with bones. We need good, strong people 
and we need volunteers and we need donations to help this place grow and thrive. Hi, I'm Sharon Bax and I volunteer at the, here at the Morrison Natural History Museum. You know, I am a physical therapist by training, a rock hound as self-interest and that kind of uh, led to this and now I'd have to say I'm kind of a museum slash dinosaur <laughs> geek. Again, the knowledge is given freely. It's shared freely uh, from the experts on down, and uh, you just have to be wanting uh, to learn about it. And I would encourage everyone to know this gem that they have here and to come and support uh, the work that's being done here. Hi, I'm Nancy, and I'm a paleontology technician at the Morrison Natural History Museum, and I'm also a member of the foundation. I love it here. Um, I, I think what I really, really like is when I'm working outside and I've got visitors who stop by and ask me what I'm doing, and I get to interface with them and talk to them. And I had a lot of training on what looks like bone, what doesn't look like bone, what's rock, what's not rock, how to use the microscope because um, I really like the prep work and I really like doing the one-on-ones outside with just my people, my people, my visitors, I call them my rock, my visitors. It makes me happy to meet new people. It makes me happy to show what I'm doing, to do some teaching, to interact with little kids, holding kids on my lap while they're, well, we're, we're working on the rock out there and they're just having a blast and they they get hit in the face and it's like, what was that? And I said, you're doing a great job. You know, the, the more rock we're moving, you know, the more chances are we're going to find something. I, I'd love to get more volunteers. Um, I always ask, especially if they're local people, you know, to come back and, and volunteer, join the museum. They're really my family. Um, I, I love coming in. And, you know, you come in on different days and you see different people and it's always, hi Nancy, how are you doing? And it's, you know, hi Elizabeth or hi Jack or hi whoever, you know, what's new? What did you find on the block? You know, what kind of a tour did you give today? Um, yeah, it's like home.